Woo! I got a big update for GPUs. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by RGB Swap, a better alternative to eBay that I really think you should take a look at. RGB Swap is a marketplace exclusively for selling and buying computer parts that offers much lower fees than competitors such as eBay as well as greater protection against scams. Whether you're a buyer or a seller, you're guaranteed to be protected since all orders have to be paid for first and the funds are held for 48 hours after the buyer receives the item or they leave feedback, ensuring that you never get sold a bad item. Additionally, all disputes are manually reviewed and PayPal is used exclusively for an extra layer of security. I gotta tell you guys, I like this website a lot and I really want it to take off as a better alternative to eBay, so please, if you're interested in buying or selling PC parts online, click the link in the description below and give it a shot. I think you'll really like it. So at this point, I don't have to tell you that we've been through an absolutely horrendous year when it comes to the whole GPU situation. I mean, pricing and availability has continued to be absolutely terrible and it just seems like it won't stop. But that being said, like I've mentioned in the past, I am expecting GPU availability to get much better in 2022, and I'm also expecting prices to decrease significantly. However, it looks like there might actually be a slight pause on some of those decreasing prices, as it looks like something unfortunate has just happened in the GPU space, and that's a delay of the third player coming into the market. Yes, you heard me correctly. It looks like Intel might actually be having a delay when it comes to their desktop GPUs hitting the market, which is definitely unfortunate to hear because like we've talked about in the past if we get a third player into the market even if they are using TSMC it's absolutely nothing but good for gamers as it's just going to mean more supply for you and more competition when it comes to AMD and Nvidia meaning that yes it will almost certainly lead to decreasing prices and increased availability which again is something that we desperately need at this point but yeah unfortunately it looks like there could be a delay now this information comes from the website videocards.com which as always it will have links in the description below but if we take a look at their article we can see that they found in a number of places on intel's website where it previously listed their desktop gpus coming in q1 2022 it now just says 2022 so that's a lot more vague and it could mean like q2 q3 or even q4 so of course that has led a lot of people to believe that there could be a delay for the desktop intel arc gpus which you know what to be honest with you guys that's actually really strange because even up until recently intel has multiple times has been stating that yes, in Q1 2022, we can expect that their desktop GPUs will be hitting the market. So to me, this is definitely really strange that just out of nowhere, all of a sudden they start removing Q1 from basically everywhere because yeah, that definitely makes it seem like there is going to be delay. And if there is a delay on this card, this is not only bad news for gamers, but it's also going to be very bad news for Intel as well, because if they were to release their cards in Q1, this is basically, at least right now, going to be the best time they could possibly release their cards. Of course, of course, they could have released them even sooner and it would have been even better for them. But right now, their best option is to try and release them in Q1. And I also believe it's going to be in their best interest to try and release them on the desktop and try and go full force into the desktop because that is going to give them a lot of goodwill in the consumer space. And it's going to allow them to try and eat into that NVIDIA and AMD market share as long as they can produce enough of these things, which of course, we'll just have to wait and find out when they finally hit the market, whether or not they can make enough of these but if they decide to wait, it could end up being just a little bit too late for Intel. They could end up in a situation where unfortunately for them, but fortunately for gamers, it could be that the shortages are not nearly as bad. The prices aren't nearly as bad. And so of course, this is gonna make it a lot harder for Intel to try and win goodwill out of the consumers if both Nvidia as well as AMD also have better pricing and availability across the board. So again, I think it's gonna be just really unfortunate if Intel is not able to make this Q1 time uh, for releasing their desktop GPUs. Unfortunately though, to be honest with you guys, I wouldn't be too surprised if what you do end up seeing is like in Q1, only mobile solutions from Intel, and then maybe sometime in Q2, you end up seeing some sort of desktop GPUs. It definitely wouldn't surprise me whatsoever. It could be that just possibly Intel isn't able to get enough wafers from TSMC, so they're gonna try and wait to get the desktop GPUs on the market. But honestly guys, you know, even though this could definitely be a possibility, I'm just gonna go ahead and hope against hope that this 
this is not going to be the case and that we do end up seeing them in Q1 2022, because if we don't, once again, this is only going to further delay the reduction in pricing and the increase in availability that is going to happen basically regardless in 2022. But yeah, at this point, I don't want to have to wait any longer for pricing and availability to get better because it has already been over a year. So any help at this point, I will definitely take. I definitely give Intel a try and hopefully they are able to get them out sooner rather than later. But hey, that's just what I think. When do you think Intel is going to be releasing their desktop GPUs? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and Nvidia get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.